learned in your math class something called cross multiplying, right? So when you have a ratio equal to a ratio, that's called a proportion. And the way that you would solve it is you would multiply in the diagonal and that is equal to the product of the other diagonal multiplied together. So for example, on this setup here, we would have A times D equals B times C. Okay, so basically that's the idea you're cross multiplying across that equal sign. Now, just wanna make a note. So we've learned that as cross multiplying, but another name for this uh, way of solving equations. It's called the means extremes property. And basically what the means extremes property tells us is that the means, which are these ones here, I guess you could think of them as being in the middle, right? See A, B, C, D, so the means, okay? The product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Those are the ones here on the outside. So an example would be like, say for example, we set this up, we wanna find the geometric mean of nine and 16. We can put our variable x here in the mean position, okay, the means positions, and then we're gonna put our nine and 16 over here in the extremes position. And then all we have to do now is just cross multiply and solve for x, and that's our geometric mean. So x times x is x squared, nine times 16 is 144, and then if we take the square root of both sides, you can see that x is coming out to 12. So that's our geometric mean. So another example uh, would be like, say for example, if you had four and nine, so let's see if we can do that one. So same idea, we've got our means here. These are means and our extremes here. We're gonna put four and nine are two numbers that we're interested in working with. And we're gonna cross multiply. So you can see that's gonna be x squared equals four times nine, which is 36. And if you take the square root of both sides, you can see that x is coming out to six. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, isn't there a simple way to do this? And, and you're exactly right. What you can do is you just take the two numbers together. Let's just say that the two numbers are called A and B. So you can see when you're cross multiplying, we always end up getting X squared, right? And the product of the two numbers, we'll just say that's A and B. Okay, those end up getting multiplied together. And if we take the square root of both sides, you can see that X is equal to the square root of A times B, right? So if you want just a quick way of doing it, all you do is just multiply the two numbers together, take the square root, and that's your geometric mean. Now, if you're interested in learning about the geometric mean as it applies to right triangles, when you drop an altitude, you end up getting three similar triangles, and there's something called the leg geometric mean theorem and the altitude geometric mean theorem. I'll have links uh, for those if you wanna check those videos out. Otherwise, this wraps up this video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.